Alright, so in the last video we got our keywords from the keyword suggestion tool. Another thing you can do, just want to mention this, you can go to the Google AdWords keyword tool or whatever tool you use. There's, there's so many keyword tools out there. Um, you can download, you know, the search, the results here to Excel. You can copy them straight out from Excel. Go to PPC Campaign Generator and just paste them in. And so after doing that, click this Remove Duplicate Keywords and that gives us 1655 unique key phrases. So from here what we can do is click this add domain keyword list button and that takes us from the research tab and now our goal is to group keywords. Before we actually group keywords let's take a look at the settings which determine how to actually group keywords. So we have this analyze frequency area you see F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, those stand for one word frequency, two word frequency, three word frequency, and so on up to five. Let me just show you what a one word and two word keyword frequency actually means. So save changes, hit this analyze button, and what that's doing is it's looking at the main keyword list area here, and it is returning the keyword density or how frequently a specific word or phrase appears. So in this column F1 and this keyword column here, this you can see that these are one word phrases. This is a basically a taking your keyword list, chopping it up into one word phrases and it's outputting the count here. And over here in the F2 column you can see how many times this specific phrase appears within your keyword list. So it's a quick and easy way to kind of chop up your keyword list into segments and the point here is to analyze the keyword density and look at the groupings that you want to create ad groups out of. So we're, right now I'm analyzing F1, F2, and F3 keyword frequencies and when I'm doing that I can see um, for example T-Mobile phone appears 225 times within this keyword list so if I wanted to create a group I could just right click it and click create groups before I start grouping though I want to show you some other features here we have three different grouping methods. We have strict word order, any word order, and strict than any word order, which is kind of a combination of these two methods. So I suggest just playing around with them. If I had to say which one is the best, I would say keep it on strict than any word order because what it does is it groups keywords based on a strict word order. For example, if I click analyze, it's going to look at the word the phrase density and it's going to make sure that the proximity of these words appear in a certain order and then after that it's going to see what keywords were not grouped and those are pretty much keywords that go into this group called the sort group and it's going to try and group them using an any word order meaning those keywords might contain the same words from the group but they could appear in any order so this might not make a lot of sense, which is why I just suggest using the strict than any word order because I feel it gives the best results. You can also group each keyword into its own ad group. This is a feature used by people with not usually huge keyword lists. and You don't want to use this with long tail keyword lists. You want to use this primarily for keyword lists that have maybe you know a couple hundred at the most keywords and I'll just check that just to show you what it does we can go here use this keyword grouper this is an automatic keyword grouper that's built into the tool hit generate common themes and you'll notice that it says 1655 common themes found and that's exactly how many keywords are in our keyword list we hit next it's going to show us one keyword per ad group that would be created we're not going to do that but the benefit of that is you can put one keyword in its own group and you can have multiple different match types. So, for example, you can have the keyword 
um, mobile phone in its own ad group and it could have broad phrase exact and modified broad if you wanted to and and some advertisers like to do that some some don't so it's just really up to you it's there if you want it it's there if you don't want it um, this minimum number of keywords per group this is basically a threshold saying you're basically telling the program, I want at least 15 keywords in order to consider creating a group. So let's go ahead and put that there. And then we will just hit Save Changes. Let's analyze the keyword density of our list. And this means we will only see groups that have 15 or more keywords to create a group out of from our main keyword list. So when we scroll down here, we won't see suggestions less than 15. You see? So the higher you set that threshold, obviously the less suggestions you'll have for groupings. So we'll set that to 25 for example. Let's go ahead and analyze that keyword density and this will show us everything 25 keywords or greater. So these are keywords that appear very frequently within our keyword list, at least 25 times or more. So it kind of helps you eliminate the clutter within the data grid area here, and you can make decisions from there. And then this next setting, the merge singular and plural words into the same group, this allows you to merge English words only um, that are singular and plural. So there's a very, very, very simple algorithm that is running that allows you to merge, for example, phone and phones together. So you can see we have 868 instances where the word phone appears within these keywords. We have 744 instances where phones, plural, appears. When we check this box, merge singular and plural, and then hit save changes, let's go ahead and just make it one word and two word frequencies. Now let's analyze the keyword density and you'll see that phone and phones actually get merged into one group. So you can see we have phones and then if you if you were to evaluate the group you will find phones and also phone. So singular and plural versions of that word are in one group instead of two groups. And then this area here is one I use a lot. This is for stop words. If you're not sure what a stop word is, let's say the keyword was mobile phones in Seattle, Washington. The word in is not very important within the context of that keyword. So I don't want to create a group with stop words in it. And here you can define them. Completely up to you. Um, you don't have to, but they're here if you want to. And then let's say we want to create only groups that contain the phrase mobile. Let's put in mobile there, hit save changes, and then you can see we have phone and phones, you know. Well now, this will only give us suggestions if the ad group contains mobile. So we can see all these potential ad groups contain the phrase mobile. We could also say mobile or phone save changes, analyze the keyword density. And so there's quite a few tricks you can use in order to generate ad groups. So that's kind of touching on it. This, this uh, URL template, I'm going to cover this in a later video. And so let's go ahead and just remove this and then we're going to say two word and three word frequencies and let's start talking about actually grouping our keywords. And since this video is kind of getting long, I've already discussed most of the settings. So this video will be for the settings. Let's go talk about the grouper video now in the next video.